Today, the United Nations held a world summit on climate change. Tonight, Dean Reynolds tells us about the effect that climate change is having on birds and what some humans are doing about it. Their call is synonymous with the American wilderness. But the common loon of Minnesota's North Woods may actually be sounding an alarm. The land of 10,000 lakes uh, is projected to not have loons uh, in the summertime anymore by the end of the century. By then, according to a report from the Audubon Society, climate change will threaten half of the birds in this country. Some may disappear. From loons to eagles to hummingbirds, flocks are getting squeezed, says Audubon's chief scientist, Gary Langham. All these birds are at risk, and they all paint a picture of an environment that is going to be disrupted from global warming. In the early 1900s, loons nested as far south as Illinois and Pennsylvania, but ever since, their range has steadily shrunk. If southern lakes continue to warm, the fish loons feed on could die, sending the birds farther north for food. But in Waterville, Minnesota, scientists are capturing loon chicks and moving them to their traditional southern nesting sites in a new project to see if they can somehow survive. And there's many hunted species. David Evers is with the Biodiversity Research Institute. By providing a way to bring loons back to their former range and kind of kickstart some of these populations, it is our responsibility in the end. Three kilograms? Here, they monitor the chicks and release them to what they hope will be new summer homes. If we just wait till for nature to take its course, it'll take a very long time for loons to, to restore themselves. So far, four chicks have been released from the pens and into the wild. Just hopefully it's as simple as that bird coming back in two and a half years. The swallows come back to Capistrano. Maybe the loons will return to Waterville. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Waterville, Minnesota.